Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a Magic Review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Marksman deck from Luke Germay. All right, so what is the Marksman deck? Well, it sounds like it's a deck of cards, but it's actually a lot more than that. Uh, Luke is giving you a complete deck reading system that's gonna allow you to do some great feats of mentalism. You wanna watch the trailer? This is it. The Marksman deck is a full show hidden in a deck of cards. Hiding in plain sight is a full performance of incredible magic and mentalism with playing cards. You know, I, I believe honestly that if you can tie your shoelaces, if you can do that, if you can tie your shoelaces, then that's significantly more challenging than performing with this deck of cards. So what do you get with a Marksman deck? Well, you get a, a really in-depth DVD with me teaching you how to use the deck. Uh, and the DVD doesn't just cover all of the kind of features of the deck. It also teaches a whole host, a whole variety of tricks that are specific to the deck. Uh, tricks that you can't do with any other deck of cards that's out there. Uh, once you watch the DVD, in a very short space of time, you'll be out performing these tricks because there's really nothing to it. The deck itself does all the work for you. It's a utilitarian tool that gives you a kind of, without exaggeration, never-ending flow of really effortless, really direct mentalism and magic with cards, with very little effort. It's just so crazy, I don't know how any of it was done. You can't explain it. You can't no. explain it. All right, so that was the Marksman deck, Luke Germay. Uh, this is being brought to you by the people down at Vanishing Incorporated. So a couple questions we always ask about all of our magic reviews, and the first of which is, what's in the box? What all right, so what's in the box? Uh, you're definitely gonna get the Marksman deck, obviously. You're gonna get the Marksman deck, and you're gonna get access to the video and the PDF. Now, how that is packaged, I can't say, because really, uh, I've been listening to a couple of other uh, different people who've received this, and there's all kinds of combinations. So some people receive the physical DVD and the physical deck. Some people receive uh, a shell box, and then inside the box is the deck and the DVD. Other people have told me they've received the hard shell box, the deck, and then a download code, but no DVD. So regardless of how it gets mailed to you or shipped to you or what you receive, you're definitely gonna get the deck, okay? You're definitely gonna get the video in some format and you're gonna get the PDF. Is it what I thought? Uh, I knew it was a Mark deck, okay? Actually, it's not a Mark deck. It's not a Mark deck. Let's, let's differentiate, okay? There are Mark decks and there are reader back decks. This is a reader Mark deck, okay? Reader means uh, you can read it right off the back. There, there you see it, there it is. Uh, if it says six of clubs, it says six of clubs. That's a reader back. Marked back would be like binary or scratch marks or some sort of pattern or like flower petals to count. That's a marked deck, okay? So this is a reader back deck. Um, is it what I thought? I did not expect the markings to be as big and as readable as they are. I think some people will be taken aback by it when they see it for the first time. They're gonna think, wow, the back design is covered in markings. Like, how is anybody not gonna see this? Uh, there are five readable marks on each side, which means on the back of every card, there's 10 marks, five on each side, right? It has to be readable from both sides. So this is an open marking system. Anybody could be able to see this, right? And so uh, that was a little jarring. That was a little bit, I was surprised. I was like, wow, this is, you're not, it's not gonna take you any time to look for these marks or for you to decipher what they mean. How are the angles? Okay, so the angles uh, that goes hand in hand with what we were just talking about. Uh, I think when we think about angles, we think about, well, uh, is the spectator gonna catch what I'm doing, right? Okay, so in regards to that, I would say, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, just relax. Uh, Luke Germay uses this system all the time. He says he doesn't get caught. So if Luke Germay doesn't get caught, you're not gonna get caught. You have to treat it like it is an unmarked deck. You have to treat it 
like it is a regular deck. And if you treat it that way, if your body language says it's that, then you'll communicate that just with your presence. And if you can relax and, and not worry, then your spectators will, they won't assume anything. And I think most of the time as magicians, we're thinking about the back of the cards. We're thinking about the back and we're burning that back and going, okay, what, you know, what's going on? But spectators, they're probably more interested in the faces because really when you ask them to select a card, they take it. They're, they're so worried about hiding the face from you, right? They're worried about hiding the face. And, and for them, that's the identity of the card. They're, they're not trained to think that the identity could be on the back, okay? And, and if you watch Luke in the performance video, a lot of times what he does is he fans the cards face up towards the spectators. Like here, look, look at all the faces. They're all here. They're not in any particular order. And I think that gives them some reassurances, but at the same time, it's hiding uh, the back design. Now, how are the angles for you? Hmm, that's a good one, right? How are the angles for you? Because sometimes I would argue that when there are marked decks, people who have uh, poor eyesight <laughs> go, oh wow, I can't read these. Uh, I had no problem. Uh, my reading glasses are really uh, a low number, okay? So uh, my eyesight isn't really bad, but I do have problems seeing things close up, I do. But uh, I think all these markings are a nice visible size and I didn't have any issues with them at all. That to say, can it be inspected? No, uh, you can't have this deck be inspected. If someone says, hey, let me look at those cards, I think you, you, you need an out or you just need to be able to manage your cards and your audience better uh, that they don't ask you to begin with. What's the overall quality and production value of the video? Uh, a lot of time and care has been put into this project and in, I think it's apparent from the very first frame. I mean, for the most part, Luke is sitting at a table, he's facing the camera, he is mic'd, and he walks you through the how and why of every routine. And uh, it, all is, you know, it also includes a studio performance, which is great. And I think you're gonna get a lot of Luke's notes and his theory. It's a lot of fun to watch. I've already watched it twice. Like I said, somewhere else, Vanishing Incorporated also has a live 45 minute uh, performance video. Now uh, that is something that you can go and download. You can find that on the internet. Uh, and if you have trouble finding that, I can find a link for you if you would like. All right, so what's taught on the DVD? You're actually gonna get five tricks, okay? Five different mental effects. You're gonna get uh, three tests of intuition, which is uh, basically you allow the spectator to draw three different cards and you divinely inspire each one. Uh, there's a dowsing uh, one, there's a card peak routine, there's a card calling routine, and then of course a deck memorization routine. Is it well made? Uh, it's a deck of mandolin backs, so if you're not already familiar with that, uh, this was a deck that was created uh, so that magicians could manipulate the back design. Currently, United States Playing Card Company has uh, their back design trademarked. And so if you were gonna make a gaff deck with bikes, the only thing you could do would be to tweak the faces. Now they don't allow you to tweak the backs. And so because this is a back tweaking trick, <laughs> the, you needed a back design that, wasn't, uh, that was open, that was open source. And so the mandolin backs were created uh, to look almost exactly like a deck of bikes. I think most of the time it flies right by people, they don't even notice. Uh, and of course the box itself looks just like a deck of bikes. Uh, the great thing about this also is, and I don't rem quite remember if Luke covered this, but what you can do is you can buy the uh, bicycle deck seals, okay? You can buy the deck seals uh, on one of your favorite magic websites. I know Penguin sells them, that's where I got mine. And then you can just reseal your deck every single time. Reseal your deck, you throw, uh, some, you throw your jokers on top with your ace of spades and then a couple of ad cards from another deck and you can just reseal it every time and it looks like you're opening a brand new deck, but you know that it's in a special stack that only you know. Now, as far as the marking system goes, the deck stack, um, I'm not really gonna go into how or why. I mean, that's, that would be giving it away and that's not my job to give away the trick. You should buy it yourself if this is something that you're interested in. I will say that it uses a Mnemonica deck stack, okay? That's, I don't think that's a huge secret because there's lots of products out there that use Mnemonica and so uh, that's uh, part of it. And the nice thing about it is, let's say, let's say you're not as familiar with Mnemonica, this deck will help you learn the Mnemonica system. How much practice does this require? Um, I think for the most part, as with most mentalist tricks, a lot of the practice goes into the routining, okay? Not so much the use of the deck. You're right, you're not learning slights. You're not learning a, a lot of like hard to do moves. You're learning the routines and you're learning the pauses and the beats and the rests and the momentum of each effect. And so I would spend a lot of time 
watching that performance video almost as much time as you watch uh, the explanation, okay? I think there's some hidden gems in there that you'll really wanna sit uh, and listen to that I think are well worth it. So practice-wise, I mean, you'll obviously have to learn which marks are which, obviously, but a lot of your practice is just gonna be on routining and just getting all that down. How much setup and reset is there? Uh, like I said earlier, it's a mnemonica stack. So a lot of the tricks work in a cyclical rotating stack. Like you can cut it anywhere you want, uh, but you have to keep it in the deck stack. Um, in the video, I will say this, in the performance video, Luke does use three different decks, okay? He uses three versions of the Marksman deck. So don't think that he's doing that entire routine with one deck of cards. Okay, he is using a deck switch, uh, and I think that's good to at least have two of these. And I might just throw this out there, you're gonna buy one, maybe you should buy two. Uh, have one that's always in the Mnemonica stack, and then have another one that you can ring in and out where the spectator can shuffle it. Positives, all right, so what are the positives to the Marksman deck? Uh, Luke Germay has not just given you a fun toy. He's given you a working system. This will not only allow you to do all of the tricks on the DVD, but it will further launch you into new ideas as well as dress up some old ones. Is it worth your money? Uh, it's $35. $35 for a marked deck of cards and a 45 minute DVD where you could do literally an hour's worth of material with this. Uh, it's totally worth your money. Should be more expensive. I, it's, it's even affordable enough to buy a second deck if your deck wears out. Like, they say in the future that they'll have replacement decks, but why? $35 is well worth it. Like I said, add two to cart. Who would like this? Mentalists, mentalists who like doing tricks with cards, um, card magicians who are looking to break into mentalism, fans of Luke Germay, I think would definitely love the Marksman deck. All right, so that is my review of the Marksman deck from Luke Germay and Vanishing Incorporated. I got mine from Murphy's Magic. I wanna thank Murphy's Magic for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you would like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it from your very favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks. Bye.